In this video, we're going to scribe some cabinets to the wall. This is our elevation. We have two large refrigerator cabinets going here. And we've got a dimension of 30 inches and 30 inches for two fridges, so that equals 60. We have to hold exactly 60 at the bottom and exactly 60 at the top. And then there's a stretcher. It's actually a piece of cedar and it kind of covers up some of the cabinet. But, so we're gonna put this cabinet in first. And we've, we've done some figuring exactly how big we wanna make this filler. And, and if we're a little bit off, like a 16th off, we can account for it over here. But we wanna get a generally the right size filler on this one. So Trey's put this cabinet up against the wall. So we got it laid out, we've decided that this, that this filler should be uh, two inches exactly. And then we're going for dead nuts plumb on the level. And the reason we don't use a short level up at the top is it's very small and it, and it wouldn't give us a true indication on, on level. And then we're gonna go level this way or plumb this way as well. So this is plumb, you know, if we did the top, it'd be level. But we're gonna do plumb because it's a much taller cabinet than it is wide. Setting the scribers at the two inch mark so we're right where we want to be with the scribers. Trey's going to start at the top and work his way down. He's leaving a faint line that we're going to be able to see easily with the circular saw. You could use um, tape on this uh, product as you go, and that way uh, you're able to see it a little bit easier, particularly if it's a dark finish. You definitely want to use some tape. Now you can see we've got a bigger filler at the top it's going to be two and an eighth at the top and at the bottom we're going to be probably one in 15 16 but somewhere in here we're going to be two and that's 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 just what we're looking for so this is the elevation the shop gave us it's actually the plan view and the plan the the shop planned for 18 and three quarters 60 and 18 and three quarters and of course the filler will vary but they gave us a filler that could make this cabinet 19 and a quarter so the first thing Trey's gonna do is at the bottom, he's gonna mark on the floor 60 inches. That's exactly how wide the appliances are. Now coming from the other side at the right spot, which is the front of the cabinet, he's gonna measure and he has 37 and three quarters. So you write down 37 and three quarters, half of that is one foot six and seven eighths, or 18 and seven eighths. So after we've scribed, we've got 18 and 7 eighths to our scribe. So now after our cut, that may be plus or minus, and we're gonna screw this cabinet hard to this location, and then we'll take that dimension one more time, 60, and we'll decide what size scribe to make that one. It'll be plus or minus this one by about a 16th, depending on how well we scribe it. So now Trey is just going to put blue, this yellow tape just in case he touches the, uh, the paint job. It won't mar the wood in any way. It's not so hard with a circular saw, but a jigsaw can certainly uh, get away from you a little bit quicker than a circular. So one other thing to just mention is there's no fasteners going through this filler. Sometimes there's a fastener like this one right here might be at the very edge because you're cutting too much off the filler and you know like we didn't anticipate how much you'd have to take off but uh, you'd certainly not want to go through a pocket. Yeah. 